Hi and welcome back. So when it comes to the Brian Johnson supplements list, also known as the Brian Johnson blueprint, I've seen many videos and blogs and discussions that talk about how many supplements there are, because there are quite a lot, and how much they cost because they are very expensive. And that he always starts taking them at 5 a.m. when he wakes up in the morning. For some people, this seems to be uh, very important. Indeed, Brian Johnson himself prefers to talk about his blueprint supplements and talks about how they all fight to stay on the list. Um, there are very few people who actually talk about what he takes and specifically why he takes it. So in this video, I'm going to cover the Brian Johnson blueprint supplement list and what benefits those specific supplements actually hold. Now, where I can, I will split the supplements into groups, those being prescription supplements, herbal and natural supplements, vitamins and minerals, and at the end, speciality supplements. So when he wakes in the morning, he takes the following supplements with breakfast for the following reasons as part of the Brian Johnson Blueprint Project. Firstly, his prescription supplements are Carbos, 200 milligrams, used for managing blood sugar levels. A Carbos can be a game changer for those needing to control their glucose levels. Metformin, we all know about metformin, 1,500 milligrams, that's a big dose, a popular diabetes medicine. It also shows promise for longevity and metabolic health. Next, his breakfast herbal and natural supplements. Firstly, ashwagandha, 600 milligrams. This ancient herb is known for reducing stress and anxiety, but enhancing mood and enhancing brain function. Brocomax, 17.5 milligrams, derived from broccoli. This supplement supports detoxification and offers antioxidant benefits. Kyolic garlic, 1.2 grams. This specific formula of garlic uses garlic's antioxidants to support and maintain the cardiovascular system. It helps maintain circulatory function and supports the immune system and also digestion. It also helps with inflammation and detoxification. Next is ginger root, 2.2 grams. Ginger is a digestive aid and can help with nausea and inflammation. Next is turmeric and purpurine. One gram of turmeric, especially when combined with purpurine, is known for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Next is lycopene or lycopene, 10 milligrams. This powerful antioxidant found in tomatoes supports heart health and may protect against sun damage. Next is lysine, one gram, an essential amino acid that's vital for skin health and also for the production of our collagen. Moving on, let's take a look at his vitamins and minerals for the morning. First, B complex, 25 milligrams on a Monday and a Thursday. B vitamins are crucial for energy production and maintaining healthy nerve function. Then we've got vitamin C, 500 milligrams, a key player in immune function and also in skin health. Vitamin D3, 2,000 international units, essential for bone health and immune function, especially in areas with limited sunlight. Next, we've got vitamin E, 67 milligrams. This is an antioxidant that protects cells from damage and also supports our skin health. Then we've got EPA at 500 milligrams, along with vitamin E at 5 grams. This omega-3 fatty acid is vital for heart and brain health. Then we've got iodine as potassium iodide, 125 micrograms, important for thyroid function and also for our metabolic health. Zinc at 15 milligrams supports immune function and also supports wound healing. Then we've got zeaxanthin at 4 milligrams, along with 20 milligrams of lutein. These both protect our eyes from harmful light and reduce the risk of macular degeneration. Let's now take a look at his morning specialty supplements. First, CAAKG, calcium alpha ketoglutarate. One gram of that, and that supports energy production and may have some anti-aging properties. Next is cacao flavanols, 500 milligrams of that, good for heart health and also good for cognitive function. Next is DHEA, 25 milligrams of that. This hormone precursor may improve skin health and also improve energy levels. It may increase levels of androgen and may also have a steroid effect. Glucosamine sulfate at 1,500 milligrams. This supports joint health and may relieve the symptoms of osteoarthritis. Then we've got lithium as lithium orotate, one milligram of that. In small doses, lithium can have mood stabilizing effects. Then we've got N-acetyl-L-cysteine. We all know that as NAC, 1,800 milligrams of that. This supports respiratory health and also acts as a powerful antioxidant. 
Next, we've got proferrin, 10 milligrams of that. This is an iron supplement that's gentle on the stomach and also helps combat anemia. Taurine at two grams. This is an amino acid that supports heart health and may improve exercise performance. Next, we've got nicotinamide riboside NR, 375 milligrams of this. This boosts, as we all know, NAD levels, which are vital for energy metabolism and also cellular repair. Then we've got ubiquinol, 100 milligrams of that. This is an active form of CoQ10, coenzyme Q10, essential for energy production and also essential for our heart health. So that's it for the Brian Johnson supplement list for breakfast. Let's move on to dinner and his prescription supplements. First, again, a carbose, 200 milligrams of that. Remember, chiefly used to control blood sugar levels in people with type 2 diabetes. Also good for reducing the risk of cardiovascular complications. Also at dinner, he takes metformin again, this time 500 milligrams. As we said before, known for its ability to improve insulin sensitivity and may have potential anti-aging benefits. So including the morning dose, he takes two grams of metformin per day. So his dinner, natural and herbal supplements. Firstly, Brocomax, again, 17.5 milligrams. This supports detoxification and offers some antioxidant benefits. Kyolic garlic, again, this time only 1.2 grams. This supports and maintains a healthy cardiovascular system. It helps maintain circuitry function and also supports the immune system and digestion. It also helps with inflammation and detoxification. Ginger root, again, 2.2 grams. This is a digestive aid and can help with nausea and inflammation. Then we've got turmeric and purpurine, again, one gram. And as we said, this is known for its anti-inflammatory and its antioxidant properties. Let's now look at its vitamins and minerals for dinner. Firstly, vitamin E, again, 67 milligrams, known as a powerful antioxidant, protects cells from damage and also supports skin health. EPA, again at 500 milligrams. This omega-3 fatty acid is crucial for heart health and can aid in reducing inflammation. His speciality supplements at dinner are CAAKG, alpha ketoglutarate, again at one gram. This may improve energy levels and has potential anti-aging properties. Cacao flavanols, again, 500 milligrams. This is to improve blood flow and cognition function and may also lower the risk of heart disease. Next is glucosamine sulfate, again, 1,500 milligrams. This is beneficial for joint health, potentially easing joint pain and also improving mobility. Then we've got hyaluronic acid at 300 milligrams. Hyaluronic acid is great for skin hydration and also good for supporting joint health and also wound healing. Lysine, again at one gram. This is essential for immune function and also the production of collagen. Then we have L-tyrosine at 500 milligrams. L-tyrosine is important for neurotransmitter production, which can also enhance mental focus and improve our mood. NAC, again, 1,800 milligrams, effective in supporting respiratory health and also acts as a powerful antioxidant. NR, nicotinamide riboside, 375 milligram, as we know, boosts NAD levels and is essential for energy metabolism and also our cellular repair. Next is taurine, this time only one gram. And as we know, this supports heart health and may improve our exercise performance. Also on the Brian Johnson Blueprint supplement list are periodical supplements taken when he decides it's time to change certain things in his diet. As for dietary supplements, there's extra virgin olive oil, 30 milliliters a day. This is rich in healthy fats and also antioxidants. Extra virgin olive oil improves heart health and can reduce inflammation. Then we've got pea protein, 29 grams a day. This is a plant-based protein source, supports muscle growth and also weight management because remember, he's on a vegan diet. Then there's dark chocolate, 15 grams a day. Dark chocolate is rich in antioxidants, which can improve heart health and also improve our brain function. His periodical prescription supplements are, firstly, rapamycin, 13 milligrams bi-weekly, used under medical supervision. Rapamycin has the potential for anti-aging and can improve immune function. Then we've got HGH, six milligrams, five times a week, human growth hormone prescribed for specific conditions that can aid in tissue repair and also in muscle growth. Then we've got 17AE2, 
at four grams per week transdermal, this estrogen therapy can be beneficial for hormone balance and potentially reduce the risk of certain age-related diseases. Then we've got testosterone, a two milligram patch, six times per week. Testosterone replacement can help in maintaining muscle mass, bone density, and overall energy levels. Then we've got other periodical supplements. Firstly, NDGA at 50 milligrams once a day. NDGA has antioxidant properties and may contribute to cellular health and also longevity. Then we've got vitamin B12. Remember, he's a vegan. That is one dose per week. Vitamin B12 is crucial for nerve function and energy metabolism. It is essential for those who are on a plant-based diet. Aspirin, 81 milligrams a day, three times a week. Low dose or baby aspirin can reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke in certain individuals. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Let me know what you think of the Brian Johnson supplement list. And I'd be interested to know if you think he's pushing the limits of anti-aging science or is he just a bit of a crackpot? Also, let me know, do you think he's missing anything in his supplement list that you think is essential for longevity or anti-aging? Now, there's also a Brian Johnson blueprint diet and a Brian Johnson blueprint exercise schedule. Would you like me to produce a similar video for those, either one or for both of them?